Hello and welcome back to Age of Empires 2. I am, of course, Lord Farmer. Here playing through the Joan of Arc campaign, and we are on the Rising. So we've eliminated one of our enemies in a reckless and almost complete failure of a move. Uh, we've gained control of our defenses. We are currently building up a military, hopefully to be able to take out um, Troyes over here. Uh, we have rams that are fully garrisoned with infantry units. The issue is the amount of defenses the AI has placed in that area. Um, let's do that. Shift my numbers around a little bit. Get the crossbowmen, get the knights. That's about the best we can hope for right now. I might try the same strategy this time. Um, assuming I actually send all my knights. Wow. Um, that was kind of dumb. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just send all the crossbowmen. We need as many archers as we can get. Obviously, we can't really fight the British longbows with our archers, but we can kill pikemen with them, which will be extraordinarily useful when it comes to actually assaulting the walls. So, let's try this again. <laughs> Failed last time, lost a good portion of my knights. We are still working our way towards getting enough food and gold to advance to the Imperial Age. Um, we're going to have an issue with some gold. I may need to move over and find another gold mine, or just take over these ones. That might be the smarter move. Um, one moment. Hello, Mom. I'm recording, obviously. How was work? That was good. Okay. Oh, I'm busy for another 40 minutes or so. so. Oh, thank you. Okay, they've got troops. Can we shoot that guy? I'm curious. We can. Is that a smart move? Probably not. Oh, it actually worked. Wow. Okay. Fire, fire, fire. Just put troops in the way. Really, right now, we just need bodies in front of the archers. Okay, here's why we have archers. Take out the pikemen. Let the knights, by and large, handle each other. They're still going to kill quite a few of my knights, but at least we're going to dealt with a good portion of the pikemen. Boy, they have a lot of pikemen. Wow, I'm actually kind of impressed. This is, this is just like a solid wave of pikemen. Um, I think that means their defenses are depleted, so let's send in the rams. And of course, move up the crossbowmen. He is the crossbowman. Unfortunately, a full volley does not seem to be able to take out a fully mounted knight, which would make this a lot easier. Let's put them on stand their ground, that way they don't actually only walk into range of a castle or something. Okay, so it takes a little bit more than one volley to finish them off. Which is unfortunate. Um, Okay, take out that. There we go. Uh, I'm going to send up these guys and we'll establish a mining camp here. Uh, and I'm going to build a marketplace with these guys, or that guy rather specifically. Um, okay, the ram was destroyed. I don't see what destroyed it, but I'm going to assume it was units. Um, Uh, we need crossbowmen up there. We really need them up there. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, we lost one crossbowman. Uh, let's send... Uh, actually no, let's not send anything. 
They don't actually they don't have murder holes on, which makes this a lot easier. We just need to take the castle, then we can overrun it all. Um, let's send in the knights. Especially since my actual infantry units are currently preoccupied. Um, keep the ram focused on things. Okay, everybody on the castle. If we can take the castle, we're pretty good. Okay, we forced all of their villagers out of the castle. That's a good starting point. Even if we don't take their town center this way, we've at least driven them off of... Uh, we've at least taken the river. Okay, now foot soldiers will send you to fight any pikemen that may spawn. We're also going to move up the archers. Okay, Town Center is almost fallen. We'll use the archers to speed it up. Town Center is mine. Okay. Second enemy down. One to go. The British and toys have been defeated. Defeated. Okay, let's move all this back. We lost quite a few units. Um, how many archers do we have? Twelve. I know we lost at least one or two. Let's build three so we have at least fifteen. Um... We lost a ram. Lost two rams, actually. Uh, we still have three of you. So we're going to need another five. Okay. Let's just get rid of that flashing objective. Otherwise, that'll stay forever. Uh, we have... Why didn't... What happened here? Wait a second. Where did all my units go? Did they all die? They all died? They all died. Wow, okay. That sucks. I lost 10 villagers up there. Okay. Um, let's send the scout cavalry this way. See if there's anything over there that'll give us resources. This ram almost died as well. Um, whoa, 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 screen is locked into scrolling. Um, yeah, screen keeps locking into scrolling, that's annoying. Uh, I'll try and prevent that from happening. Okay, I think we pretty much trained all the units we're going to train that is not knights. Problem being, we have no gold. Problem truly being we have no gold. We also have no way of making that crossing. Apparently all of them died. None of them made it to that mining camp. We need a gold mine. We really need another one. We do have a couple scattered around the map, which would be okay. It's just... Okay, I see why they died. Okay, that is a lot of British longbows. Um, not entirely sure how to handle that at the moment. There are efficient ways to handle it. The question is, how am I going to handle it? Uh, skirmishers would be ideal. But we don't have any gold. The nice thing about skirmishers is they don't cost gold to train. Just food and wood, which there is a lot of on this map. Um, I think I might move these guys over and just mine over here for the moment. Five of them. Get some gold income going again. We definitely need some. Please don't charge. It's just suicide. Oh, they're, that's why they're charging. They have trebuchets. Ay ay ay! What is going on with this level? This level just got like three times as hard. Now that they have a trebuchet on the field. They destroyed my tower. But there's one nice thing that can be said about them using trebuchets now. I do know they have trebuchets. They also have elite 
fully, almost fully upgraded longbows. Ugh. That means they can actually shoot my castles without me being able to respond. That is your problem. Um, get mining. You would. Hearing archery, I'm not seeing archery. Um, that is concerning. Uh, let's take this river back. We need control of it. Ah, yo, wow. Uh, that is a problem. Oh my gosh, that's a problem. Um, that is a lot of Siege Onagers. Just pointing that out. That is a ton of Siege Onagers. Or sorry, not Siege Onagers. Those are just basic ones. Okay. Not as bad, still catastrophically painful if I didn't have units to deal with that. So, this AI is playing for keeps, which means we need to do the same. Um, okay, let's heal up. We've got rams. Let's send Quick Villager. We could always just send our rams in a suicide charge on their wall. Um, I don't really want to. We also be careful because Onangers will just one shot pretty much all our archers. Um, a little bit annoyed I had a spare swordsman I forgot about. Please heal somebody. There we go. I don't know why he was in the Okay, we really need more resources. Um, I couldn't. I can in fact sell wood. So let's sell wood. Get up to the. To the Imperial Age, funded on wood. We yeah. can. There we go. Then we can get trebuchets, which will make life a lot easier. And we can also get cavaliers, which is a huge upgrade. It pretty much doubles the strength of knights. There's longbow. Lots of longbows. Okay, this is slightly a bit of a problem here. They've also been mining the stone I wanted. Uh, okay. Can I get that stone mined before they get all their troops here in response? Doubt it, but we want to at least try, right? Okay, uh, take out their mining camp. That might either, it'll either provoke a response or it won't. If it provokes a spot, response, we have a little bit of a problem. It doesn't look pretty good, actually. Pure age, 50% there. Okay, that mining camp is gone. I guess we'll just destroy everything nearby, that way they can't see me mining. Which, assuming it works that way, I suspect the AIs know instantly what I'm doing. Um, we also could sell wood. Yeah, let's sell more wood. Buy some stone. There we go, that should be enough to build a castle. Again, a forward base. It's all about the forward bases. Also about not letting your lumberjacks chop their way through your defensive wall. Um, so let's correct that problem. Let's just move them over. Oh, do you not have enough wood? That's annoying. Um, Oh, apparently I pulled one of them off of the farm somehow. Or not. Okay, he automatically pulled himself off. Good. Uh, we've got that going there. The castle is constructed. 
Let's loot all that. Let's just garrison the knights now so they heal. Um, we do have a lot of food, actually. So let's use that to upgrade herbal medicine. We do have an excess of wood. We just have to be careful how we use it at the moment. Let's try training two trebuchets. Wait. With two trebuchets and a handful of knights, we should be okay. Um, what is it going to take to get cavaliers? 300 gold. We have that. They're stronger and better armed. It does make a difference. Um, I don't believe we can get the full archery upgrade. Nope, we can't. Uh, we can't upgrade our rams to capped rams, which are stronger and better armored. Um, we also have any upgrades here. We can upgrade our armor for our infantry. There's a lot of gold over here still. It doesn't look like much, three tiles, but it should be a lovely excess for us. Cavalier upgrade will be key. Really, we're in pretty good shape despite the enemy having trebuchets on us. Was the front walk safe now? Oops, sorry about that. Somebody was talking. Went to the driveway, then they see your machine there, and the car is going to be in the way. So. Okay. I'm that sort of thing in the driveway. It's not like big and solid. It's... Got it. Okay, I'm still recording. They can hear you if they talk. Beautiful. Okay, sorry about that. Somebody forgot that they could be heard. Um, let's quickly advance and try and take out a couple of these towers. We might even be able to pull this off before the end of this episode. We'll see. It depends on how strong the British counterattack is. Or Reims counterattack, but it's the, the French. Sorry, they're the British. So, do you have a couple of my enemies were the French? Which is kind of frustrating. That means the French were knowingly fighting against me. Um, let's get a stable up. What is going on here? Longos. I see. Longbows of all things. And a trebuchet of their own and a castle. Okay, this is a problem. Uh, quickly do that. Take out the trebuchet if you can, then retreat. Okay, run, 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 run. Just run. Okay, we provoked a massive response wave here. This is not good. Oh, shoot, that isn't good either. Stay safe, stay safe, stay safe. Fire on those things. Ooh, I picked a fight I shouldn't be in. Not only the fact that they have a lot of damage, but also the fact that they have these things, which are horrifying monsters of war. Um, I need to take out that trigger shit. Because archers can't walk in a straight line, like a vast majority of them just died on their own. We are definitely going to need skirmishers here. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 stay back. It's not rocket science. Stay back, stay safe. Actually, we're going to be fine because the archers were dumb enough to walk forward. Wow. Till they one shot the builder there. Lovely. Um, on that. I have to repair that. I didn't think they would actually get a castle there, but they did. Um, there's no real easy way to deal with. British longbowmen, especially when they outrange your castles. Um, let's get some archery ranges going. If worse comes to worse, we'll just use elite skirmishers and crossbowmen to win. 
pretty crude. About the best we got. There we go. Good lag. Now I'm gonna hope that my elite skirmishers will prove to be useful. Um, usually it's one of the harder counters to British longbowmen, uh, assuming they don't die um, before they actually get to the longbows. Um, we also want to get Paladin upgrade at some point. So let's work towards that. There we go. Paladins are, of course, the cream of the crop when it comes to knights. A uh, knight significantly weaker compared to a paladin. Um, that's what we got right now. I don't want to send forward the trebuchets because if I do, they'll just get shot. They do get some pretty good pierce armor later on, though. That's only when they're firing. We did get, we did manage to destroy a tower before that disaster occurred. There we are. Population breach figured as much. Okay, let's see how this goes. Probably not going to go well, considering they're advancing in a very ragged form. Uh, they have noticed the skirmishers. Okay, so the skirmishers, if they all fire, can kill these guys. But otherwise, the British longbowmen have to kill them. It's not really worth the investment, is it? Um, honestly, I'm probably better just sending forward the trebuchets, hoping to destroy the castle, and then I can deal with the archers. <laughs> Oops, I didn't realize I had been healing these guys. Let's try and correct that. We will build five more skirmishers up just to be on the safe side. They at least prove to be vaguely useful versus them. They're not perfect, but um, honestly, main, uh, scorpions and stuff, mangonels would also be very useful. Oh, come on! There we go. Pathing. Pathing work for once. We're going to pretty much ignore their trebuchet if we can. Instead, fire on the castle, try and take that down quickly. Every castle is a huge investment, so. Um, although it does help if they actually can kill the scout cavalry before destroy my stuff. These paladins are really powerful. Look at all those long bowmen! Ay, ay, ay. Look at also all the trebuchets. I'm actually getting more worried about the trebuchets now. Um, especially since their trebuchets are hitting mine and mine aren't hitting the castle. Yeah, that's problematic. Their trebuchets are killing mine, mine didn't even manage to take out the castle. This has evolved into a full on late game multiplayer battle, pretty much. All about positioning. Uh, let's get three trebuchets built. Obviously it hasn't hit that point either entirely because we both have gold, but the fact that this gold mine has stopped producing resources and they have elite longbowmen. <laughs> Choose the British get elite longbowmen comes a lot harder to win. Um, that is a yay, yay. Okay, you clearly saw that I am over there. Uh, some one of you up there. This is all going very wrong. Very, very wrong. Obviously, we shouldn't lose any of our paladins. They're just too tanky, but. We lost a villager, so let's build a town center if we can. Right there. And now they're trying to assault my castle with Onimverse. Not really going to succeed. Uh, it's kind of a waste of resources, but you can see why they do it. Uh, is that all my paladins? Yes. Ooh. This kind of sucks. Um, Really, the skirmishers are not proving to be that useful. I was hoping it would work, but really, knights are the paladins are the best. The problem is, 
castle, which apparently they're repairing. Nope, they're using the trebuchet on it. Okay, charge. As soon as they start using trebuchets on your castle, you have to go in. Or just risk losing the castle immediately. Um, take it out if you can. Take out these trebuchets before they use them on me. You can as well. The other target, if we can get to it, is the repairer. One more volley and their tower, their castle is gone. These paladins are so dead. So dead. Um, still gonna run. There we go. We did take out the castle. Or no, the castle the castle's still alive? Oh, yeah. And she died. Oh, this is a problem. They're using longbows, but I need to have them kill the Onangers first, because those are the biggest problem. They retreat. Repair. Pretty sure I got the castle. I guess I'm crazy. I guess I didn't get the castle. That sucks. Barely any health. They're gonna literally destroy a uh, trebuchet with archers. That's an annoyance. Come on, another volley if you can. There we go. That time it went down. You're entirely useless, but I'm going to start and withdraw anyway. No use wasting the trebuchet if I can get it out alive. Okay, well, anyhow, seeing as this siege is going to go on for a while, this would be a good stopping point. So, thank you guys all for watching, and next time we'll continue the very annoying siege of Rams trying to break into their base and destroy their town center. It might literally come down to just a massive paladin charge backed up by capped rounds. We'll see if that comes down to I hope it doesn't. Anyhow, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you all then. Bye for now.